Hey, what's going on my mans? So today we're going to look at things that World War 2 Zombies did right, the good things. So it's going to be a positive video, good vibes in that. So for example, bringing back the Exo Clown, that just makes it a 10 out of 10 experience. As you can tell, I was extremely excited by the Exo Clown coming back, so let's get into it. So the first thing is replayability, because I don't know about you guys, but after playing one game of Exo Zombies, I would have just rather... Just rather not, if you get what I'm saying. But with World War II Zombies, I can play this map, the Final Reich, like, over and over again. You know, I could marathon this map 24 hours. However, that would also clash with my schedule of Spongebob 24 hour. Um, so, I, that's not going to happen. But yeah, I can play this map over and over again. It's not one of those maps where it's so complicated that you just don't want to play it after you've died. So... That's a great thing, that you you, you, can, you can just hop back in. So the next thing that they did right was two Easter eggs. I'm being held at gunpoint to tell you, or remind you, that the Easter egg was not, I repeat, not solved after the game came out. But yeah, honestly, the two Easter eggs, the, what's it, the casual Easter egg and the hardcore Easter egg, that's just amazing, right? The casual Easter egg is sort of a walkthrough. It's the closest thing to a zombies campaign. Yes, we're also forgetting that nightmares ever happened. However, I'm very, very scared by this creature on my screen right now, but it's it's all good. So yeah, two storylines or two Easter eggs even, a great thing. So there's the next thing I was very happy about, and that is the character unlock thingies for costumes, whatever you want to call them, because I this was an idea I had personally, so Search Hammer Games, thanks for that. You know what I mean? Just look at this guy, he has a fox in his head, or, or something, I don't know, he looks cooler than we could ever be. So these character unlocks are a great thing because I think moving forward, zombies should be all about focusing on customization and game modes. I think that's the next two evolutions in COD Zombies. And that's that's what I was talking about before World War II Zombies came out, right? You can go into a public match and show off. You know, you can grind to unlock these things. Then you can show off that you have a fox on your head. So World War II Zombies feels fresh and new but familiar so it probably sounds like i'm speaking some sort of alien language so i'll explain it world war 2 zombies feels like call of duty zombies but it feels like a new take on it it really is like sledgehammer did not just copy and paste treyarch zombies but it does still feel like cod zombies right that's the thing sledgehammer should make sledgehammer zombies not treyarch zombies and that's what they did so it feels new but also familiar, so it's a great thing. I love it. It's I love the new take, the new stuff that they added, like shoveling zombies' heads off. That's what came to my mind. And then just going off of that, another thing that I think they did well is the vibe, the atmosphere. I've talked about this loads, because I think the vibe and the atmosphere of a zombies game or a zombies map is one of the most important things, and this map reminds me sort of of Darius or the Giant, and even the Isendrak in some areas. I mean, just ask my man Klaus. He seems to be liking it. And then finally, the storyline. So once again, I want to go back to those Dr. Straub secret recordings, like video ones and the audio ones. That's something that I know Jason Blundell got asked about in an interview. I think it was with Johnny was saying, like, are you going to do some extra animations like Overwatch does to tell a story? And he was like, oh, we'd have to get a whole team to work on that. We'd never get it done in time. And they sort of just did that in World War II Zombies like it was nothing. So, it's amazing, the storyline, better than Exo Zombie storyline already, probably better than the Infinite Warfare one, we'll have to see how it goes on over time. It's an interesting storyline, and it makes sense, that's all I asked for before the game came out, and they, they did that, it makes sense, you know, it's not like Treyarch Zombies where we're going off into like 17 different dimensions, and, and it's, it's interesting. So yeah, that's for things that World War II Zombies did right, so obviously it was a very positive video. The next one, we're going to look at what it did wrong. Stay spicy my friends and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>